So finally, I speak of politics, right? All right, so yeah, I'm talking about politics, finally. I don't generally do this whole thing because, you know, besides talking about some of those side issues related to politics in some way, it's a pretty dumb topic, at least if you ask me. It's pretty dumb. You got Republicans and Democrats and they're arguing, tastes great, less filling, blah, 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 back and forth. I just don't generally care. But there's an issue that I felt I had to bring up. I have to bring it up. And that's, that's Mitt Romney. We're talking about Mitt Romney. I had several things that kind of make me take a step back and question. Wait, I generally don't care who gets the throne because whatever, but first off, I mean, people might have heard a little bit about that bullying thing he was involved with, with the snipping of the hair with that kid and how he doesn't quite recall that incident and how like everybody else involved with it felt really bad about it and were, they didn't feel very good they were involved in that sort of a thing and he doesn't quite recall the incident. Okay, fine, you know, I can push that aside, but it's a little weird. Okay, I don't like what that says, but everybody does stupid stuff. Maybe his was a little stupider. And yet another thing, while I'm on this whole Romney topic, blah, 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 talking more politics because it's dumb. Um, all right, so news for everybody. I'm retroactively retiring from video making. How's it? What does that mean, right? What, is, what, what happened there? What, what did I do? You don't know, do you? Because no one retroactively retires from things. This isn't real. No one does this. No one. But yet, Mitt Romney retroactively retired from Bain Capital. What does that even mean? I'm seriously asking a question here. What does that mean? And can I fill out my employment form saying I retroactively retired from my jobs? Can I do that? Is that a thing now? I'm, I'm asking serious questions, I think, because I don't understand what he's talking about. Retroactive retirement, it's like, I was working there until I wasn't, but I was never, I, I wasn't working there before the time I quit. Wait, I'm honestly confused. I really am. And when the president-to-be's explanation for his job things leaves me completely flummoxed as to what he even is saying, I'm worried. And I generally think everything in politics is bad already, and I'm worried. But the issue that I'm getting to now, the big thing here is his tax returns. And how is that a big thing, right? Oh, well, he's not giving us his tax returns. Well, as everybody has been saying, his father kind of started this thing where you give out the last 12 years of your tax returns as a matter of course. You know, just, this is, here it is, it's done. But we have Mr. Romney, the current Mr. Romney, who gave us the current year and is going to give us the next year, but we don't get anything before that. No, 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 no. No, we don't play that game. And here's why. Because he's going to be the president of the USA. That's why. This isn't a regular job. This isn't an interview for Starbucks. This is president of America job. This is important. This matters. Like, you have to give up your tax returns, all of your financial information, if you want a loan from the bank, right? You want a mortgage? Yeah, you better be coughing up that info. You want a loan in general. Doesn't matter what kind, they're checking you out. But he's just running for president, right? There's no need for us to know his tax information. What? No, no, no. We get to know everything about this dude. I'm sorry, if you're running for president, there are no secrets. You don't get secrets. You are becoming, as they used to say, that cliche term, leader of the free world. I think that's a bunch of crap, but whatever. In this case, let's, let's roll with it. You're leader of the free world, right? At the least, you can give us some tax returns. And right, why is this a big deal? Again, why is this a big deal? Tax returns. Who cares about tax returns? Out of all the things I could be bitching about here, why tax returns, right? Well, it's, it's a bit of character, for one. When, if we find out that Mr. Job Creator supporting Romney talking about taxes and all that stuff and how the businesses pay so much in taxes and this hurts things, if it turns out that he involved in Bain Capital, look that up, you know, didn't pay any taxes at all, it kind of shoots his whole rhetoric in the foot where he's talking about businesses being crippled by paying taxes. If he just skirts the whole tax issue, how is this crippling? It shoots his entire rhetoric about anti-business and democratic anti-business stuff in the foot. It says, instead of what he's saying is true, it's saying that look at all these loopholes that this guy here took advantage of so that people like him don't pay taxes. And that might rile some people up, and fairly so. 
because if we're sitting here having to pay all this money, the government's in debt and everything, right? And it's a big issue, right? Everybody's talking about this big issue. And then, oh, these people making billions of dollars just don't contribute. Yeah, you better be fucking right. People are going to be angry if that's the case. And if he's not going to release it, here's the final point. People are just going to assume. Okay, you're not going to tell us. All right, so how much, you know, payouts did he make to secret lovers? Huh? Well, we don't know. And I could just speculate whatever I want to fill in the blanks because he hasn't said. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to say that maybe he pays money to satanic organizations because we can't see his tax returns. I'm just going to say we don't know, and that's very troubling, especially considering the track record his own father set up with releasing 12 years of it is sort of just a matter of course. I'm not even going to complain. Just this is a thing. Here you go. Transparency. It's good for government. All right, so, you know, people have made this Obama point. Oh, he's not releasing documents, right? And there's a big Republican thing for a while. He's not releasing these documents. I don't feel like even getting into that crap, but it's sort of turned about as fair play. All right, you all are clamoring for four years about birth certificates. It's time for some clamoring about tax returns. It goes both ways, like I've had to say many times now. If you get to ask questions of me, I get to ask questions of you back. If you get to demand things of me, I get to demand them back of you back and forth. Especially, again, if you want to be my president. And here's another quick point, you know, besides that tax return thing, I actually sent what I believe to be a fairly intelligent letter to his campaign group, you know, the contact Mitt Romney at thing, asking him questions about his foreign policy, you know, legitimate questions like Iraq and Iran. Like, what do you intend to do about these issues in the modern day, especially looking at Iran being the powerhouse that it is in the Middle East with expanding influence and this potential for nukes and so What is your position here? And I get letters back asking me for money. So, you know, fine. I'm like, okay, whatever. I sent him a second letter asking for, hey, could you please answer these things? This is the address for me contacting you. I would like questions if you would like my vote. I would like you to answer these things. What do I get? Just donate $30 to Mitt Romney. Wait, but... What? I asked you questions that were intelligent about your foreign policy that I would like to know as a potential voter. Don't ask me for money when I'm asking you questions. You know, and that's one other point. Why are you asking me for money? Okay, I'm, I'm poor. You are not, Mr. Romney. You are not poor. I don't care if I don't see your tax returns. We both know this. You're not poor. Why are you asking me for my last dollars? You have, you could buy me out a hundred thousand times over. I don't have anything to give you. Just answer my question, please. Just something to think about.